Hello there, it's Sunday morning, everyone's in bed, so I thought I'd check out this um, Super Mario Brothers 1 to 8K demo um, on the, the ZX Spectrum, a program by a gentleman called Sergei Smirnov, um, available to download now. I'll put the link in the description if you want to check this out for yourself. Um, but basically, it's a direct port of the original Super Mario Brothers from the NES. You know the one, I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> now... There's been quite a few videos out there already of this game, uh, all running on emulator, and I've, I've seen on Twitter and on Reddit of people uh, casting into doubt how authentic it is, um, mostly down to the sound, actually. Um, so I thought I'd grab the tap file, uh, stick it on my div MMC Future, uh, which, if you don't know, is this device where you can run games directly from an SD card. Um, it, I'll get, just get my phone, take a quick picture, but... Um, but yeah, it's this brilliant kind of convergence of um, modern and 35-year-old technology. Absolute, been an absolute must for me with my Spectrum. So uh, I don't. Know. So I'll be loading the game from there. Um, you can see the the directory on screen right now. Uh, <clears throat> I'm giving it a go on actual real 35-year-old um, Spectrum hardware. Uh, anyway, enough of the rambling. I shall just load it now. Oh, loading screen from Super Mario Sunshine, a bit weird, but okay. There we go again, 1 to 8k only, and it's a multi load as well, if I remember correctly. But that doesn't matter, running from a SD card, so it'll be instant. Yep, there we go. And the first thing you'll notice is the music is absolutely spot on. So, it's not as pretty as Mario Brothers, is it? Black background, no, no clouds, no nothing. It's just Mario, uh, but it moves absolutely spot on. It is unfortunately up to jump uh, because the Spectrum only had one fire button, and the fire button is used for run. But he moves exactly as how you'd expect him to, which is amazing. Uh, also, this is clearly not a complete demo, so you know you'll see some weirdness like. Um, no coins coming out of blocks, no, the blocks don't smash or anything. Um, but apart from that, it's actually pretty authentic. The music in particular is absolutely amazing. I can't remember which. Can we go down any of these pipes? I forget now. I forget which one it is. Right. Up to jump is giving me a little bit of problem here. There you go. This is not the music I was expecting. Okay. Never mind. Uh, clearly hasn't programmed in sideways pipes yet either. Well, at least the uh, original Mario kind of theme is present and correct. Ooh, nice bit of slowdown. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Underground theme, present and correct? No, okay, well, never mind. Still, impressive. Oh, some more slowdown. Fire flower, present and correct. Then. Maybe does that not actually behave how I. No, okay. Whatever. Ooh. Can you kick the shell? Yes, you can. Okay. Oh, quite a bit of slowdown. That's okay. I don't know what you would expect otherwise. See if I can get up there. Nope. Oh. I was going to say, um, I wanted to see if we could get up onto this the scoreboard, but it's not actually present on this, is it? Moving platforms are not moving. Okay, you never know, that might be added in a later release, but it does mean... Oh, we can get up here. Oh, 
Oh, warp zone, excellent. Okay. Uh, I'll go down the middle one then, because I scrolled too far. Obviously, that doesn't happen in the original Mario, in the original Mario Brothers, but this is what it is. Ah, straight to 3 1. Okay. I possibly shouldn't have skipped. Should have showed you <laughs> the end. I'll tell you what, we'll get to the end of this world. Which looks suspiciously like World 1 1, but in, with a different tile set. In fact, yes, this is just World 1 1. Is 3-2 just going to be the same as 1-2? Yeah, certainly is. Slow down again. Okay, no warp zone this time. Whoa, nearly went down the hole. Sorry, you'll be able to hear the, the clicking of the, um, the Spectrum's keyboard as well, won't you? Oh, that was literally just the end of the world. Okay. Ah, uh, level, sorry. Still, with the keyboard, at least you know, I definitely am playing it on this Spectrum. That's an unmistakable sound. It is a little slidier than I remember. Is this supposed to be an ice level or something? Or is it just the colour? <laughs> I wonder what's happening at that point to make it slow down like that. seen that one coming. Uh, okay, those look like empty spaces for the, the columns of fire that spin around. Oh, God, there's no way I could avoid that. I'm not sure what the official name is for those 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 fire things that, that spin round and round and uh, attach to a block. Okay, where's Bowser? Oh, look at Bowser! Look at him! Ah! Who's a cute little bad guy? Is he gonna fire anything? Nope, okay. Jump in. And no tech. No, uh, text, sorry. Oh, well. Oh, this is not 1-1. One, one. <sighs> yeah! I forget what they're called. Something Beatles. Fuzzy Beatles or something. Kind of hard to see against the pure black background, but never mind. Whoa. Kill the baddies. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember this level from Mario. Is this just a made up one? Is that it? We've got, we've got the original world one and then a made up world. Jesus. Right, okay. Nope, none of the shells kill the other enemies. Okay. Oh, what pipe? Oh, and it's crashed. <laughs> well, 
Okay then. Well, that was Super Mario Brothers on the ZX Spectrum, everybody. Uh, an incomplete demo, obviously, um, but still very impressive. Uh, I'll give them that. Um, you know, back when I had a Spectrum, the idea of uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, being on there was unheard of. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, let's just let's just load it back in. I'll get Super Mario back up on the screen. So I just want to say something about the actual sprite itself. So it looks actually pretty authentic considering the Spectrum's limitations. Uh, you know, the Spectrum had seven colours, uh, one of which was black as well, by the way. Um, but yeah, they've done a pretty good job of recreating how Mario looks with a clever bit of dithering. Uh, you know, and they've avoided colour clash for the most part. You know, you, you do see some of it here and there. You know, you can see the yellow there with the block leading onto Mario. But yeah, it looks. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed by this because it runs really smoothly, uh, apart from the odd bit of slowdown which we've seen. So uh, yeah. Well done, Sergey. <laughs> this is really, really impressive. Let's make him big. I'm going to say goodbye. Yeah, so bye bye, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. All that jazz. Uh, and this was Mario Brothers on the uh, on actual real Zen Extraction hardware. Um, so until next time, bye bye bye. <laughs>